right, so um, before you even get into your um, the panels and rails and all that stuff for the, the internal rotation of the hip, I want you guys to really be able to see what your internal uh, rotation looks like. It's going to be different from different angles. So for example, right now, you is in hip flexion, so her knees are up. If she was prone on the ground, it would be different. Um, but this is a good way to kind of assess that. If you were in your hip car and you're having that third part a little bit wonky, this is also going to really show up and show you exactly what that, what that looks like. You can also find out which side's better or worse. Um, and definitely shout out to Move Well Philly. Go ahead and get on her YouTube channel because this is something that she actually showed me, okay? So what I want you to do is squeeze your knees together. So you're gonna keep those there. This right hip is not gonna move at all. It's gonna keep constant tension in here. And then what she's gonna try to do is she's gonna try to get this heel as close to me as possible by turning her hip in. So that's the hip socket turning in. We're trying to get this as far as we can. If it was absolutely amazing, like she was the most mobile person in the world, it would be pretty damn close to 90, if not 90. As you can see, this is really good. A lot of people are going to be stuck here. We're going to try to hold that there for a couple of seconds. Again, this is really just an assessment, but this could also be strengthening. Now she's going to come all the way back nice and smooth. And then we're going to see which one's better by looking at the other one. So she's going to turn that one all the way in. And we both know which one's better for her. But at the same time, we're trying to get that to internally rotate and see the differences so you guys can see. We also don't want her pelvis or anything else to be moving with it. So abs are staying tight here. She's going to hold that for a second. Now come all the way back. Good. Say I was the coach and I wanted to really make this a strengthening exercise. Go ahead and open this up. I can give her some light tension, so she's really got to go against it. You can see the stop real quick. I basically got one finger on her right now, so really be light with the tension. Say I wanted her to hold hard at the end range, I would stop her. She'd have to really push through. You might cramp, okay? Don't be worried about that. Slowly come back in, okay? So that's a good way to assess it. You could make it even easier by putting one foot on the wall and then having the other one turn off of it. You want to see which one's worse, know yourself, learn yourself, and then both of these are going to be the 90-90 anyway or the sleeper stretch. Um, but this is going to show you which one you want to start with, okay? All right, so progressing from there, we're going to go ahead and get into uh, the actual 90-90 stretch now. So what we're going to have you and do is going to do two minutes, passive stretch, just quality breathing. What we're going to have her do is kind of think about this hip is actually going down into the ground. So it's really just sinking down into the ground, all the way down. And as that's happening, she's actually trying to dissociate her upper body and turn her rib cage to the left. As she does that, we're just taking some big deep breaths. Again, just like we do with the other one, it's okay if she lets that one come up a little bit. As it comes up, you might even feel a stretch increase on the, on the left side. It's perfectly fine. If you wanna try to keep it down, try to keep it down. Hunt around, everybody's hips a little bit different. Just know that what we're really trying to get after here is actually turning this left hip internally so you can feel it actually going into the socket. Um, if you had trouble with this, remember you're staying here for two minutes. Um, if you had trouble with this, it would actually be the third part of your car. So up, out, and then the part where it turns in. So if that was really, really bad for you, this is exactly what you need, okay? So from here, what we're gonna do is go into a pales contraction. So she's gonna take a big deep breath in, exhale everything out, sniff some air in her abs. She's gonna be nice and tall on her spine. And she's thinking about kind of pushing this foot into the ground, pushing this knee into the ground, and pushing this hip down into the ground. You should feel crampy here and you should also feel the inside of the thigh working slash uh, stretching on the second part. We're pushing harder and harder every single second. What we're getting to is basically hopefully 10 seconds to get to 100%, and then you're gonna hold 100% for 10 seconds. If you can do 30 seconds, that's great. Find out where you're at, push yourself, make sure you get a really a good enough uh, pales contraction to where the rails is actually gonna allow us to get further. So say she just did that full pales contraction. Now we're gonna think about actually lifting this heel and turning this hip inward and pulling her more. And she's gonna try to reach and get more towards here. You can't see it because it's not able to lift in your end range, but right now she's actually thinking about lifting this heel up to the ceiling by turning her hip inward. So she's basically trying to do this as she's pulling herself deeper. That's your rails contraction. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay here and breathe. Again, for our pails, we want to go ahead and have a two minute passive stretch, then hit the pails for 10 seconds, ramping to 100 if you can, hold for 10. So it's gonna be a 20, 30 second pales contraction. Then the rails can be anywhere between five to 10 to 30 to a minute. 
just find out where you're at. What we want to do is be able to gain 5 to 10 to 15 degrees as far as the uh, degree of the actual internal rotation. From here, once you're in there, you're going to breathe 30 seconds, a minute. Say she just did her second round. I want her to definitely spend at least a minute here. Big deep breaths, sinking all the way in. Really focus on your exhales and getting nice and tall in the spine as the belly button gets pulled in. And if you can turn this thoracic, your upper back, towards the back hip more, that's great. We want to really basically try to get as close to our heel as we can. And that's how you're going to really increase that internal rotation of the hip.